Hello everyone, Raymond Johnstone here. Another thought bubble, throw your way. It's a little bit of a heavy one, just to warn you. So, something occurred to me. Um, that's actually mentioned, once again, Jeremy Rifkin, Rifkin's book. The enclosure of the planet begun at the beginning of the first industrial revolution. It started with the enclosure of land, the enclosure of resources. It moved on to the enclosure of patented materials. Basically, we, 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 can, we can say that with the first industrial revolution, um, enclosure of, and, and by, let me qualify enclosure. So enclosure means that a material is being held and can only be used by by the holder of that enclosure. So like we, we could we could be talking about a corporation, we could be talking about a person, but it it requires that anyone else who wants to use that material or let's say that land or that patented um, very basic component that's, let's say, required for uh, manufacturing of all electronic equipment, let's say, um, there, has, there has to be an agreement with the owner of that holder, of that enclosure holder, to, to be able to make use of, of whatever material it is that we're talking about um, being used. So, uh, that started taking place within the first Industrial Revolution, And it really had a hold by the about, well by the second revol by the second industrial revolution it really had a hold, and now we can kind of see um, you know like our Amazon's getting ruined and and bulldozed. I'm not even kidding. If, if you don't believe me, then you know you should probably be checking that out because it's definitely an issue. Now we have mega corporations moving into places um, around around the planet trying to enclose these natural resources that are like the last precious ones that are possible to even obtain because all the rest have already been you know enclosed and grabbed up by other corporations and other mega corporations and other huge uh, conglomerates uh, oil oligarchies or you know metal oligarchies whatever it may be um, but we can we can actually what's really interesting to me is that we can actually see the devastation on our planet that this concept has caused so here's my question to you here's the question that i pose what we're moving now into is a third industrial revolution we're at work i mean the second industrial revolution is pretty much waning Right, so obviously the next one will be a third rev industrial revolution, but that one's not going to happen in the physical world. It'll happen in cyberspace, and the way that one's going to go about happening is enclosure of concepts. Get that? The enclosure of concepts. I'm talking about intellectual property. I'm talking about ideas, I'm talking about very fundamental concepts that if, if, if this process is successful, will it, it'll do the exact same thing to the landscape that it has, has, it has done in, in reality, in the real world, in meat space, it'll do the exact same thing to cyberspace. You tell me if you'd like to see that happen. Food for thought. Raymond checking off. Have a good one.